This man will take you right over the top. A very funny stand-up comedian from right here in Los Angeles, Mr. George Lopez. Give it up. That's the band. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias. Thank you for people who are bilingually impaired. <laughs> My name is George Lopez. I'm a native of California. Thank you very much. Thank you. You know, and as a young boy growing up in Beverly Hills, I always thought, uh... <laughs> you guys don't even laugh, because you know, oh, come on. <laughs> I'm working on my own show, Beverly Hills 902 Juan O. <laughs> Chicanos at surf on the next Geraldo. <laughs> I'll tell you a little slow, but you're okay, baby. I'll tell you. So, <laughs> so uh, new president this year? Very nice. I'd like to see a Latino president. Maybe we ought to get it together, you know, Latino. Huh? All five of us think that way. All right. <laughs> you see him on the White House lawn looking clean. My fellow Americans, orale. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to introduce you to the first lady. Well, she's not the first lady, but don't start nothing. <laughs> I'm very proud to be Latino, and I want to say, don't believe everything you see on cops. Please. <laughs> I've never been in a gang, and I know most of you people are thinking, well, that's ethnically impossible, is it? <laughs> well, I was in the Boy Scouts, so. Our colors were khaki. Hey. <laughs> but that's the Boy Scouts here in Los Angeles, which was different, you know, they give out, like, merit badges for drive-by archery, so. <laughs> This is the stereotypical, you know, I can't even walk by graffiti because people look at me like, why did you do that? <laughs> I beg your pardon? You heard me, Chaka. Why did you? Because, <laughs> I mean, the Latino influence is everywhere. It's in fast food. McDonald's has Mexican food. Please, what is Ronald McDonald now? Rico McSuave? What's up? <laughs> hey, you know what? Let's all run for the border. <laughs> oh, man, what a slogan. Run for the border. <laughs> all day long, I got to hear that. I'm like, no, not you, Dad. Come back. <laughs> Come back, Papa. Daddy, put your luggage down. It's a television. Relax. Because they got the salsa in the little plastic packets. It's just like my grandmother used to make. And there's people that think that that's hot. Like, they put a little bit of salsa. And go, oh. Woo, what's in that? Tomato? Oh. Oh. No, there's an onion in there, I know. <laughs> Take me to the man who invents the names for the food. Enchirito? <laughs> Very authentic, because growing up many times, my grandmother would call me and say, Mijo, come and eat. I made Mexi melts. Come on. <laughs> Mexi melt. What the hell is a Mexi melt? <laughs> What, is that what's gonna happen to me if I stand in the sun too long? What is that? <laughs> well, I thought you had two sons. Uh, Maxi belted. <laughs> so they have something on their menu called a chilito, and chilito is Spanish slang for penis. <laughs> I'm telling you because I'm your friend. <laughs> So that way your ladies don't walk in, hi. We'd like five chilitos, please. That's right. Chilito. Chilito.
Pito Suave. <laughs> uh, do you eat a lot of Mexican food? You know what? I try not to because <laughs> cause it goes straight to your waist. You know, at least if it went to other parts of your body, it would look cool, but you got this big waist and skinny legs. <laughs> and kids are calling you, hey, Kool-Aid! Over here! <laughs> How long can you hold in your breath? <laughs> Do you work out and diet a lot? Well, I try, you know what, but the philosophy, the Lo Lopez philosophy is be happy instead of being thin. <laughs> the only thing you will lose is your mind <laughs> trying to, lo to lose weight. I mean, if your jeans don't fit, move to the next size. <laughs> Because I got some jeans that I still wear, and that top button is, hey, man. I get some jeans, a cummerbund, and this jacket. I look like the Reverend Al. <laughs> well, would you ever do, like, liposuction or anything like that? I don't think so. I, I don't think that. Because, you know, plastic surgery, I want to go out with the original parts that I can't need. I don't need, you know, because liposuction, if you've ever seen it done, it's, like, fast. You know, now it's, like, the most popular plastic surgery. It's like going to the barber. You just walk in, you go, hi, I'd like to have a little bit taken off of here and some off my butt. The guy's like, all right, lady, you still want the part in the middle? Huh? <laughs> you are because you know breasts leak now and you know <laughs> you don't want to be in bed to be like hey baby hey wow. <laughs> it's only me <laughs> you know do you mind when a woman does things breast nose things like that well breasts you know i don't mind when you're 30 because how about when you're like 80 and the breasts still be sticking man <laughs> you'd be grandma and you'd be like <laughs> that is weird. You'd be like, I don't want to go to grandma's house anymore. Don't hug me. <laughs> well, we've all become so vain, you know, because, I mean, the way I look is not a real big commercial look because you look in show business and you can tell by when I get on an elevator and people be, you know. It's like, lady, I'd like to stab you, but I left my knife in my other suit, I guess. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's like, don't believe everything you see on television. Yeah. Um, you're 30? I'm 30, and I'm not married. And in my family, let me tell you, mm. they talk about me. The holidays, man, I got to skip holidays. Because <laughs> in my family, everybody's married. So I figure, look, if Ted Kennedy can get married, Lopez, no problem. Because we both have the same size head. If you ever see it. Ted Kennedy has the biggest head. It's like a pumpkin. Now, I'm no woman, but I've never had the desire to sleep with a jack-o'-lantern. You know? he'd, he'd be waiting for you in the windowsill at night. You know? You walk up and go, I'm staying out late. <laughs> you have a lady in your life right now? I got, I, got, I got a lady. And I'd like to, I would, you know, it's cool now because you have to learn a lot about foreplay, I guess, men. Most foreplay to most men is like, turn the light out. <laughs> Get yourself a beer, hurry. <laughs> I like to work the neck and the ear. And you ever had someone put their tongue in your ear? Woo! That's what they should do to crim criminals that don't want to confess. Put the... <laughs> they go, oh. <laughs> Damn, Sergeant. Oh. Oh, guys. Um, how many kids in your family? I'm an only child. Oh, really? Pressure. Yeah. Because, you know, you think Latino families, big, 12, and just me, I'm an only child, and I've always had car insurance, so ethnically impossible. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. It's fun because, you know, I had all that leg room in the... You know, you have, like, families of 12, and the, the car drives by, and they're like this, you know? <laughs> Can you play? All right. <laughs> so... <laughs> 
<laughs> I kind of like it like that. That's why I'm like this, I guess. Nuts. <laughs> man, anytime you want to come back here and be nuts, you're the best. Man. You got a home. <laughs>